All right, here's a quick end of the week update on this since I'm probably not going to work on this the rest of the week. But uh, well, as you can see, the motor is uh, all installed and the controller plus its mounting plate is in place. I'm not going to leave it installed right for now because I'm going to have to do some work on the uh, firewall there. I'm going to put probably a, an aluminum plate of some sort before I mount the, uh, the charging unit. But it actually looks pretty nice in there. And so um, I'm real happy with the way it went in. Although it did take a little bit of effort. Uh, ended up using my, uh, my motorcycle lift jack. And I put it up on the jack and then lowered the car onto the motor. Then I ended up having to use the engine hoist right here. And I strapped that to the, uh, to the motor itself and lifted up. Uh, to take kind of the weight off of the the oh, the input shaft off the transmission and then it just kind of slid into place pretty easily uh, but um, then I had a little bit of problem lining up uh, these bolts and so I had to these bolts right here the uh, mounting bolts but it didn't take a whole I just had to loosen them back up and then just uh, rotate it just a fraction of an inch or so but even from the underside here we go it's a pretty clean uh, install and so my next step is to install the uh, the CV shafts. Uh, you can see right there is where one of the, the flange coming off of the uh, the transaxle, and then it'll go back over here to the wheel. So I've got a couple of new ones of those, and I just finished greasing them up earlier today. As you can see here, one's ready for for the next step. But um, so I'm real happy with the way things are going. Things are moving along pretty quickly. We've got an order in to uh, EV West right now for some more electronics. And uh, as soon as that stuff comes in, I'll kind of do an un unboxing on that. But uh, learning a lot and moving forward. So uh, I appreciate you all following along. See ya.